Hey, welcome back, everybody. I hope you're doing good. So, just wanted to talk to you real quick about hedging. Hedging your cash against the coming hyperinflation. So you're like, well, how do I hedge? You know, let's say you got 50, 100,000, couple hundred thousand dollars. Maybe some of you might only have 10, 12. Maybe you got five grand. I don't know. I don't know what you guys got. But some of you might have a million. I don't know. <coughs> or more. But then how do you hedge that against hyperinflation? Where do you put that where you're going to lose the least amount as prices rise madly? Well, I think you're going to need you're going to need to be invested in the energy sector of commodities. I think you're going to be need to be looking at fuel oil. Um, I think we're going to need to be looking across the board uh, in the energy sector. I think the green agenda is a big piece of shit, and I think it's a big giant scam. But they're going to be they're going to be pumping shitloads of cash in there. You know, all printed fake cash. You know, just to prop the market up, but. <laughs> they're going to be putting a ton of money into the green energy section. So I think that's another safe area. I mean, it's kind of like putting your money into the stock market when you know they're doing quantitative easing and you know they're pumping $85 billion a month into the market. And I think it's even more than that now. I think QE, QE used to be $85 billion a month. Shit, it might be $200 billion a month to keep this market where it's at. But they are pulling the plug on it. So I think you're going to need to be looking into hard... Hard assets, gold, silver, you know, we went through that. We went through the, uh, you know, all the firearms, tools, things of that nature, building supplies. And, you know, when I, you know, I, I think we went through the, you know, the chainsaw shit like that. I'd almost even say tractors. Tractors. And I'm not talking about big $200,000 John Deere's. I'm talking about the, I'm talking about New Hollands. I'm talking about cases. I'm talking about 40 horse tractors that the average guy is going to need to till his you know to till his garden to work around his small farm because there's going to be a whole lot of people get interested in farming here oh and seeds another one heirloom seeds heirloom seeds there's all sorts of places where you can hedge your cash against coming inflation you know and then long-term storable foods you know think about it Last 30 years. I'm telling you, the price on food's only going up and up and up. So, you know, I mean, I mean, that might be a place you can park ten, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 in long-term food. You're like, Jesus, I'm, I'm going to spend $20,000 in long-term storable food. Well, let's pretend for one second what we're actually talking about actually happens. Okay. What are you buying your firearms for? What are you buying your ammunition for? What are you buying that for? Any of you guys carry life insurance? What are you carrying that for? What's it for? It's a just in case, right? Well, what we're talking about here is looking more like a foregone conclusion and a certainty. So, I mean, literally hedging in commodities really is, is, is what I would say. I, I would say that's probably one of the safer places to hide your money. That and precious metals. And only high, and, and, and don't, don't be buying any ETFs of gold and silver uh -uh. you buy physical tangible what you can hold in your hand don't be buying any etf nonsense so that is uh it was just just a thought i was having on the drive back from a football game we beat grand haven tonight i think it was 49 to 8 and it's a West Michigan football game for any of y'all that care. Um, so anyways, I'm going to continue to put these videos out just because I truly in the depths of my bones believe this thing's coming. And uh, I think a lot of other intelligent people do too. And you know what? It doesn't even take a lot of intelligence. It just takes a bit of understanding, a bit of uh, kind of reading the room, so to speak. And being able to read geopolitics and really understand where we're at, you know, and, and you kind of have to, you kind of have to 
you kind of have to read everything across the board. I don't much need to read a whole lot anymore to know what's going on just because I've been in tune for a hell of a long time. I, I Trust me, I get the gist of everything. But I do believe it's time to start hiding, not hiding, but hedging your assets and really start buying things. Really start liquidating your stocks, liquidating your crypto, liquidating your holdings and turning them into physical assets pretty damn quick. Okay. What are you going to do when they pull the plug on that stock market? What are you going to do? I mean... <laughs> Well, hell, look at, uh, um, look at the S&P 500. Go ahead and take a peek at that bad boy. What do you think is going to happen to the Dow? <laughs> the NASDAQ. <laughs> it's all going down. You know, it's going to be a natural correction. I would say it's, I would say the markets currently are inflated 75%. So when you say, well, what does a big crash look like? Well, let's talk about a 75% crash. Okay. So if you've got a 401k with $100,000 on it, you're going to wake up with 200 grand, 250 grand, maybe. It, it ain't going to do it overnight, but I mean, it, it's going to be a pretty rapid one, in my opinion, <laughs> because everything is manufactured. See, they got to manufacture massive crisis, massive crisis, because things are so insane right now. People only will buy into massive crisis. See, and, and even and even that. Even massive crisis people are seeing through now, which is great. But, yeah, I, I think it's hedging time. So if you've put it off, don't put it off any longer. It's my recommendation. But again, what the hell do I know? Take care.